in the county down close to Seaford town, all at Drummond did dwell. An old rogue there you would compare with the minor judge of hell. Sure, on Rogan's rocks he does feed his flocks, and he had a goat last year. That was three year old, so I've been told, and he loved that goat most dear. That was three year old, so I've been told, and he loved that goat most dear. Now this old old boy, he got up one day with his goat some pence to earn. Nor little thought of the gunk he'd get when the cruel truth he'd learn. For the orange man had been round that night, you may guess what he did say. When the horns and flesh of the goat lay there, and the hide had gone away. When the horns and the flesh of the goat lay there, and the hide was gone away. Sure he ran hot-footed to Seaford town, and he too the squire did say, Sir, some hell's kin my goat did skin, and your rent I cannot pay. Then the gentleman, he began to laugh, till he drove the old rogue mad. And he let a howl, and he swore by his soul, he would have it off from snad. And he let a howl, and he swore by his soul, he would have it off from snad. Then he came to mind of a boast they'd made, when they walked on the last twelfth day, that they'd head their drum with a papish hide for the Protestant boys to play. Then he let the shout just like hell come out, and a bad word did he say. Till the rage grew wild and like a child, he could neither curse nor pray. Till the rage grew wild and like a child, he could neither curse nor pray. And when that he to his home returned, sure his cries would cleave the sky, saying they never will have locked for the skinning of me buck till the time they droop and die. But on the twelfth day of July, it does nearly drive him dumb. For to hear the sound of the papish goat in the head of their orange drum. For to hear the sound of the 